Among the crowds at the Thanksgiving Day Parade was this young man, Ethan Finkelstein, and among the floats, balloons, and marching bands, somebody threw confetti. Sounds harmless, but a piece of it stuck onto the coat of one of Finkelstein's friends. It landed on her shoulder. She looked at it. She picks it off her jacket, and it says SSN, and then there's a number, and it's you know written like a social security number. And we're like, that's really bizarre. It looked like this. We've blurred out the social security number and other information, but it made the college freshman concerned, so he and his friends picked up more. There are phone numbers on it, addresses, more social security numbers, license plates, numbers, and then we find like all these incident reports from police. In fact, some of the confetti strips mentioned arrest records and had official police reports. This was really shocking. It says about 4.30 a.m. a homemade pipe bomb was thrown outside a home in the King's Grant area. A closer look showed the documents were from the Nassau County Police Department. That's part of its official emblem there. There was even information about Mitt Romney's motorcade, apparently from the final presidential debate in Nassau County last month. And most important, the confetti identified detectives, some apparently undercover, with their social security numbers, dates of birth, and other highly sensitive confidential information that we're concealing. I just completely in shock that, well, how can anyone have this type of sensitive information? Um, and why is it being shredded and being distributed at the Thanksgiving Day Parade? That's what we wanted to know as well. Nassau County Police told us they're very concerned and are launching an investigation, as well as reviewing how they dispose of sensitive documents.